Hey everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out, and I know, I know, long time no see. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Oh my gosh, I have missed you. I've missed making videos and being here on YouTube, and from the amount of messages that I got from you guys, you miss me too, and I appreciate that, and I am so sorry for ghosting you a few months ago, but I promise it was for good reason, because two major things happened. Number one is that I actually got a new job, which was really excited, kind of unexpected, but I'm really loving it at the new place that I work, and I actually went from four days a week to five days a week in my new job, so filming and trying to find a schedule to do that became really difficult because my free time, those three day weekends that I enjoyed before, went away. So that was one major thing that took place. And then the other major thing was that literally two days before I started my new job, Christopher and I found out that we got approved for a home loan and we just hit the ground running. We knew that we wanted to be moved out before the end of the year. So we spent literally all summer looking for a house. We went to countless open houses. We actually made five offers on houses that we fell in love with and of course didn't get them but I'm a huge believer in kismet and the stars aligning and there was a reason that we didn't get those houses because we were meant to get this house. So I'm so happy to share that we are now homeowners. Oh my god, ah, it's so crazy. And we actually ended up getting the keys to our new house in late August and moving in September 1st. And then we just spent two entire months renovating, decorating, painting every room in the house. I mean, when you guys see the before and afters, I hope you are shooketh <laughs> because we put a lot of work and love into this place and I have to say, I am so, so happy with the results and I really just cannot wait to show you guys, take you around, tell you a little bit about my inspiration, where I got things from. Of course, you know a lot of the items were thrifted, but I will be honest that we did have to go to Target and Wayfair and a few kind of um, home decor stores to get those main pieces that I just couldn't find secondhand. But I would say probably 70% of the house is secondhand, and a big majority of that is from Facebook Marketplace. Literally, you can get anything on there because people are always cleaning up their house, getting rid of items, and you can get great bargains, and I'll try to point out some of those as we do the tour today because I made out with some really good stuff. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys around our new house. So welcome in you guys. This is the view from the front door looking into our living room slash my reading nook craft area. And of course we fell in love with just how big and open this room is. But we had some work to do because as you can see from the before picture, they had really dark furniture and no lighting up above. So one of the very first projects that we did was install a ceiling fan with a big light up on top here. So that really brightened up the room. We also went ahead and painted the entire room, including down the hallway, this lovely gray color called Gray Owl, which warms up the space while still allowing it to be light and airy, which is exactly what we were looking for. So the vibe of the living room is definitely boho chic, so I knew when I found this puff, which was half off at Pier 1, I had to get it. It was a perfect little thing to add by the entryway, as was this guitar stand that I actually found at a thrift store a day before Christopher's birthday, which was so fortuitous because I needed a gift for him and we needed to fill in the house with more decor, and he's a guitar player himself, so this was just the perfect thing to add. So we got this TV stand from Wayfair and we just really liked the mid-century modern vibe, the fact that it was really minimal but still had enough storage for everything that we needed. So it was just the perfect piece of furniture for the space. To fill in the space next to the TV, I put this faux tree into a basket that I actually got on clearance at Bath & Body Works next to a couple of these really big, fluffy, and cozy pillows that I picked up at EcoThrift. 
And that brings us to the fireplace mantle, and I knew I wanted plants to be the focal point of this area. So you'll see I have some plants that I actually repurposed from ones at the old place that I got from Goodwill. And then I picked up that really cute little chair plant holder from Eco Thrift, and it totally has that boho aesthetic. And then the mirror that's in the middle there was actually from Deseret, but it was all wooden and looked really old, but I love the geometric lines. So we just repainted it gold and it gives it a whole new life. And then there at the bottom is a big tall pink vase that we also got from Goodwill and just popped in some faux plants. We searched high and low for a side table for the living room and I finally found the perfect one on Facebook Marketplace for about 20 bucks. I also found this amazing rug on Marketplace for only 75 bucks and it was exactly what I was looking for. So we knew that we wanted a sectional for the space, but boy oh boy are they expensive, but we really scored on this one, which we got for only $250 off of Marketplace, and it originally retailed for over 1000 at Macy's. I was able to repurpose my pillow cushions and just get different covers from Ikea, and then I picked up that fringe one from Tuesday morning, actually, it was on clearance there, but I just loved it. And then I added another pop of pink with this blanket that has the cute little pom-poms on it from Target. So before we move on, I wanted to make sure to show you the entryway. So we have that fun little rug there, and then we did go ahead and change out the lighting because the one that was there before was just too heavy. So we have this one that kind of looks like a colander, but I think it really works in the space because again, it's just light and airy. You'll see later that Christopher actually has his own office. So this is my little office slash reading nook slash craft space. So before they actually had their dining room here, which was kind of interesting. So we ended up again, just lightening it up, making it really bright. And we added that beautiful light fixture from Ikea. And I fell in love with it when I found it because it is just so beautiful with that gold detail and then all of the cutouts. It was just such a statement piece. So I knew I had to have it in here. So all of the decor that you're seeing here is thanks to Marketplace. I got both of those chairs for $50, which was such a score. And then I picked up the rug for only 40 and I hemmed and hawed over it just because I wasn't quite sure of the design or the colors. But in the end, I'm really happy that I got it because I think it goes so well in the space. And then I just popped this cute little ottoman in the middle, which I picked up for 10 bucks. So the top of the bookshelf has some fun little finds. I got that print at Target and I thought it was so perfect for the space. And I kind of mimicked it with that plant stand that I also found at a thrift store. And then of course you guys know that I color code my books, but I thought it was really nice because it added this pop of color without being too overwhelming for the space. So that brings us to my desk, which has all of my planner and scrapbooking supplies. So over to the right here, I have this cart that I picked up at Michael's. It's actually rose gold. It's really pretty, but it has all of my planner stickers on it. I decided to keep my desk pretty minimal, but I did find this cute lamp at Goodwill that I thought was a nice tie-in, especially with the colors and the vibe of the rug. And then I just have all the rest of my planner supplies on top there. I ended up getting two of these mid-century modern style chairs off of Marketplace for $50, which is such a score. And you'll see the other one later in the dining room, but I really love how this one looks at my desk. So last up for my nook is this little cubby shelf that I actually had in my bedroom previously, but I flipped it on its side and decided to repurpose it for all of my current scrapbook projects, old photo albums, old planners, things like that, that just needed a home. And I decided that the top was just too plain, so I added these placemats from Target Clearance. I think they were less than $2 a piece up on top just because they are metallic and have this really cool design, so it adds a little bit of interest. So now we're heading into the kitchen slash dining room area, and I will say that this is probably the biggest transformation in the entire house because previously this area was so dark. The kitchen had one fluorescent light, and then the dining room had no overhead lighting. So again, we came in right off the bat and added can lighting. We did four on either side and then one above the sink and it has made such a huge change. It is just so light and welcoming and I love the results. So even though Christopher and I aren't crazy about the cabinets or the countertops in the kitchen, we are really happy with the amount of space that we have. It is such an upgrade from our last place. 
And talk about an upgrade. This dining room is huge, but it's great because we can have different areas for different needs. So I was able to actually bring the bar cart in here. And if you guys will remember, I had this baby all the way back when I lived in my studio apartment by myself. So what I did was change out the contact paper from the marble to this beautiful gold pattern. And I just love how it turned out. It's kind of art deco-y, but still works within the vibe. And then I just popped on some bar necessities there. And then we have this beautiful orchid, which was a gift from Christopher's aunt and uncle at our housewarming. I really could not believe my eyes when I found these curtains at Walmart. They had two for less than $10, which is such a score, and I think that they tie in all of the colors of this room beautifully. So I knew I wanted the back wall in the dining room to be an accent wall, but I wasn't quite sure what color to go with, but we ended up settling on this shade called Sensual Jade, and it's just this beautiful blue green color that really catches your attention without being too overwhelming and i have to say i love how it came out so if i had to describe the dining room i would say it's like 90 percent boho and 10 percent farmhouse chic which i think that the dining room table and rug are a nice mixture of the two ideas because the rug is very boho and fun and then the table is more traditional which i love how simple it is but we decided to put some blue tableware on there from ikea and then we actually found this amazing set of ceramic plates and dishes from goodwill Everything was $20, which is just such a score for something so unique. And then I placed this plant from Goodwill as the centerpiece because I wanted something very natural and green to be the focal point, and I really loved how it all turned out. So I knew I needed something to fill the space on that huge wall in the back and I decided to do the very trendy thing of placing wicker baskets up in a fun pattern and what's great about this is that I can keep expanding it over time as I come across plates that I love at the thrift store. So no boho inspired dining room would be complete without a macrame plant holder. So I was so happy to find one at the thrift store and I just popped it up next to the other chair from the pair that I mentioned earlier for this little seating area. And that brings us to the coffee station. I was so jazzed to get a coffee station set up in this house just because we had the space to actually accommodate one. And I just love the look of them. So I found the dresser actually on Marketplace. It was 40 bucks, so I gave it a really good cleaning, painted the hardware gold, and then put in the contact paper to match the same one that's on the bar cart. So it's that same gold pattern. And then I filled it up with different coffee themed items from the thrift store, TJ Maxx, and Target. I also picked up this hanging basket off of Marketplace for about 35 bucks and I just filled it with some thrifted coffee mugs, that cute little sign from Dollar Tree, and then of course, coffee. So now we're on the other side of the house at the guest bathroom and in here I wanted to do kind of a fun tropical theme, something a little bit different. And before you'll see, it was really plain and kind of dank, but Christopher took out that glass enclosure on the shower, which really opened up everything and made it a lot more light, which was great. And then I put in that curtain from the Opal House collection at Target. Pretty much a lot of this is from the Opal House collection because I just thought it fit the aesthetic perfectly. But then I filled it in with some pieces from the thrift store, like that basket for the hand towels, as well as this candle holder that I actually found at Goodwill, but it is by Opal House, so that was a really good find. So I knew I needed something to fill in the wall space, so I actually took to Poshmark and found this set of art prints of different tropical leaves. So I thought it was just the perfect thing to add to the space. It wasn't too overwhelming, and they totally add to the vibe. And now we're in Christopher's office slash game room, which he wanted to be very minimal and mid-century inspired, so that's what we decided to go with. And before this room was very white, it was just another blank canvas for us to work with, but the first thing that we focused on was getting a ceiling fan installed, so we decided to go with the dark wood on the blades to match the floor. And for the paint, we did a light gray with a beautiful navy blue accent wall. Luckily, Christopher's wingback chair that he's had forever totally went with the theme, and then we went ahead and picked up this rug for Target to add for a fun addition to the space. 
And he actually found this unusual bookshelf on Wayfair, but I think it makes for a really fun way to display all of his figurines and games. We also got his TV stand from Wayfair, which I think ties in nicely with the tones in the room. Then he added a personal touch by displaying a couple of his favorite guitars on the wall. We were so lucky to get indoor laundry with this house and I wanted to make it the laundry room of my Pinterest dreams. So we ended up taking out the cabinet that was there before, which was just really heavy and clunky and replaced it with a couple of light wood shelves from Ikea. And then I just decorated it with a few things that I had around the house already just to give it kind of that farmhouse vibe a little bit. But I really am so happy with how this all turned out. And now we're in the master suite and I really decided to do it up in here. I wanted it to be totally glamorous and feminine and beautiful. And I think I really accomplished that just with the way that everything is styled and the colors that I chose. And of course, again, a running theme was that it was way too dark when we moved in. So the first thing that we did was add a ceiling fan to just bring in some overhead light and brighten the room up a bit. And then for the wall colors, we decided to mimic what was in the office. So we actually did a big accent wall of that same navy blue color along with the lighter gray colors to accompany it. So the bed was from Wayfair. I know we've gotten so many things from there, but this was a really good deal and it was exactly what we were looking for. And then we were able to repurpose this bench at the foot of the bed. And then most of the bedding was actually from Target, but I got the throw from Poshmark and the two pink pillows from EcoThrift. So these thrifted curtains are actually displayed backwards because I discovered that I enjoyed the silvery texture of the backside better than the front. So in the corner of the room, I have kind of a nice dressing area. So I have my big mirror that I love along with a vintage drawing and then this little stool that I picked up off a of marketplace for 40 bucks. So here is the vanity and bathroom in the master suite. And I tried to make it tie into the rest of the bedroom with some of the colors. So you'll see pink and gold in this space. But I tried to make it very girly. So we have a little makeup painting and then my favorite little girly planter on the vanity. And now we've reached my favorite room in the house, my walk-in closet. Oh my gosh, this is the closet of my dreams by far. I really took some time to make it what I wanted. And you'll see before it was just plain white. It had a very simple light up on top and the shelves that just didn't make any sense. So we busted everything out. We had to kind of refinish the walls because they were so damaged from what was there before. And then we just gave it a nice fresh coat of paint in that lovely baby pink color that I love so, so much. And then we installed a clothing unit as well as these two bookshelves all from Home Depot to help organize all of my shoes and clothing. And they worked out so well for the space. And then I added some decorations like my favorite purses, a mirror so I can check my outfit before I go, a little ottoman and rug that I got on Marketplace, just things that really bring a smile to my face and make me happy to be in here. So I also wanted to make sure to share the backyard with you guys because this was a big selling point for me and Christopher. It's got this really cool covered area so we can hang out there at all times of the year. And our house actually backs up to a greenway. So there's nothing but trees behind us and nature and wild turkeys all the time. So it's just a really nice place to come out and unwind. All right, you guys, well, that's going to do it for today's house tour. I hope you enjoyed checking out what me and Christopher have been up to for the past few months and the fruits of our labor, OMG. But I do have to take a minute and just thank everybody who helped us get here. It took a village, y'all. Seriously, we had so many friends and family who offered to help paint, who got furniture for us, who were here when the handyman was here. Working full time for me and Christopher meant that we did not have time to deal with all of those little details. So literally we could not have done it without our friends and family. So thank you guys so, so much. It means the world. And now we just get to live in this house that we love so much and build memories here. And for that, I will be forever thankful. And as always, thanks for watching and happy thrifting. 
Bye! Oh, it's been a minute since I've said that.